Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. I am Ravi Kumar. In this video, we are going to see column width and row height in Excel macros. Let's get started. I'll be creating a new sheet here and row height. I'll put some data column width and row height. Right. How do we generally increase the column width and row height actually? Okay. Select this and we just simply move this to right and left. The width got increased and the height row height got increased this is how we generally increase our row widths and heights right so we'll see how do we do this in excel macros let's go to visual basics developer options and visual basics and uh, i'll just insert a new module for a new code i'll rename this module i'll rename this i'll just create a function sub function that's it function will create it now my value is in a1 i have to access a1 to perform the height and width functionality right for that i'll use range method range which takes my cell a1 now i'll just call column column width right this one and i just give value let's say 20 and i just want to give the height as well for my cell range a1 dot row height right equals to 20 okay what if i wanted to um, give for a bunch of rows and bunch of columns so i want to set a with a particular width to bunch of bunch of rows and bunch of columns all i have to do is get the handle of the bunch of rows and bunch of columns right i'll go for range i'll go for i just wanted to give for c1 to e1 right c1 to c1 to e1 dot row height i'll give equals to Row height will be increased in the above cell itself. Dot column column with value equals to 10. Right, I will just steep up this and see how it works. 40, it got wider, it got wider, and row got a little big, and then columns for C, D, E will be a little big as well right the c got big t got big and e got big as well right this is how we give row height and column widths in excel macros thanks for watching please do subscribe for more videos